Here are the parts you will find in your yard lock package. Note all of the screws are the same length, except for one long screw for the top of the latch cover. If the gate post is less than three and a half inches, a two by four is required on the outside of the post. On the inside of your gate, mark the desired height of your latch, but no higher than 44 inches from the ground and at least 18 inches below the top of the gate. Then hold the latch arm on the edge of the gate and mark the holes. Secure the latch arm with the screws provided. Now align the latch on the post with the latch arm and mark the holes. And mount the latch to the post with the screws provided. Push the top of the latch against the post and mark the post. Drill a horizontal 3 8 inch hole through the post on a slight angle so the hole comes out on the other side near the center. Now feed the cable through the post. Now using the longest screw supplied in the package secure the latch cover at the top and the two shorter screws at the bottom. Now on the outside of the post, slide the cable through the back hole of yard lock and align it with the hole on the post and mark the locations of the four screw holes. Secure yard lock with the four screws provided. Do not over tighten the screws. With yard lock fully open, slide the cable through pins A and B. Pull the cable tight and install screw A. Now slightly lift the cable and loop it around pin B and under itself between pins A and B. Install the screw into pin B and tighten. And then tuck the remaining cable into the back of yard lock and close. Yard lock is now ready to be set with your personal code. The factory setting is four zeros. Next, open yard lock and remove the rubber block. Push the lever left and forward in the direction of the arrow and then close yard lock. Rotate the dials to your desired combination. For better security, avoid duplicate or sequential digits. Now open yard lock. Push the lever back up and to the right to its original position. Then reinstall the rubber block and close yard lock. Now scramble the dials to lock yard lock and close the weather guard cover. Your code is set and ready to use. To change your code, repeat steps 10, 11, and 12 starting with your current code. Codes can be changed as often as necessary. Open the weather guard, enter your code, and open yard lock. This is what it looks like from the inside as yard lock is opened. With the gate now open, close yard lock, scramble the dials to lock it, close the weather guard cover and enter your yard. Now when you close the gate, it locks behind you. To exit the yard, push the latch to open the gate and when the gate is closed, it locks behind you. Now your yard is locked, only with yard lock.